So I'm gonna give a little brief overview of how I do sort of more accurate uh, z-axis calibration. Uh, first thing I did is uh, I made this little model here, which is uh, it's just 10 by 5, uh, and each of these is 85 long. So that leaves sort of the inside length of 80, which is twice of what the uh, what the calibration part is. It comes with the up. Um, next thing I need to do is um, I'm just gonna mark which one's the front, and then I'm gonna take it off. Take it off the raft. If you try and uh, just like peel it off, it's probably gonna break. So I make sure and get under it with the spatula. Um, take a sheet of paper, use a right angle, draw a um, something I can compare it to. Basically, I'm gonna overlay this, and then I'm gonna line up this edge and this edge, because this may warp a little bit. Um, so I'm assuming it's gonna warp evenly since this is in the center. Um, so I just kind of make sure and line up both those points. And line it up with this point there. even and then I'm going to draw a line on this side so you can kind of see uh, it's not too easy to see on the on the uh, on the uh, paper there there's two different lines and these are 80 tall so I'm just gonna mark on here where the 80 is, right? And then now I can take this distance right, which is approximately, in my case, you know, it's about one millimeter. Now, the up calibration software is expecting a height of like 40 millimeters, whereas we're at 80 millimeters. So I think you could, you could actually maybe have it, but um, what I do just to be safe is um, you just go to like an online right, uh, like right sided triangle calculator. I'm basically trying to find uh, a here, um, we know B, B's 80 millimeters, we know it's a 90 degree triangle, so um, side B, around 80, um, and we know A is um, 1 millimeter, and we calculate, and we get this angle, basically the angle we're looking for is a uh, 0.72 degrees. Point seven two degrees. So now we the uh, the Affinia software you can't enter in points that you can't enter in a degree value. Basically, it's it's uh, it, it's trying to make it easier on you. So it's trying to calculate that angle for you. Um, so we just need to find out what offset we need to enter in to the software to give us the same uh, angle value. Um, and you can do that, um, you just go back to here, since we know it's 0.72, um, and we know um, the height is 40, we calculate, and it's gonna be 0.5. So um, I guess in our case it is just the half the distance. Um, but if you used a, um, a calibration piece that was not an easy multiple like that, um, it's an easy way to get back to it. So now I would basically, um, in my case, since it's in this direction, this is the front. Since it's in this direction, um, 
it's actually going to be negative 0.5 millimeters is what I'm going to enter into the up software. So, um, you know, you can go even higher with this. Um, you, know, you go to 120 to get even more precise. Um, so that, that's just a, you know, I, I kind of noticed that the, the built-in calibration um, wasn't quite accurate enough for me. So this is kind of just something that I came up with. Um, you can do the same thing with the X and Y uh, calibration, but um, those are already pretty good. So because they're they're 124 millimeters apart, um, and that's pretty much the whole bed. So um, there you go. Um, let me know if I'm doing something wrong or if this helps you out.